The winds are on. I'm your meteorologist Joe Martucci. A wind advisory was put into effect by the National Weather Service this afternoon. It runs into Thanksgiving afternoon. It's not just South Jersey. It's pretty much all of the Midwest and interior parts of the Northeast. Now, we are expecting some swaying vehicles. So if you are driving on the roads, make sure to keep two hands right on the top of the wheel. Ten and two. Possible power outages as well and downed tree branches. Why are we seeing this? Well, it has to do with this strong low pressure system that moves from the Great Lakes out to New England and then off to sea. And you see some colder air coming in with that as well. Let's take a look at our wind gusts as we go into the evening hours. Gusting around 40 at the shore. We see 30s out on the mainland, so it's a whipping wind, but it's not all that cold down. So that is some good news for him on Thursday. Pretty much the same story. I think a couple spots at the shore do get to 45 miles an hour with our wind gusts throughout the morning on Thursday. And then we start to diminish as we go into the afternoon. Still going to be a breezy afternoon, but not as windy as it was during the morning. In terms of wind chills, watch the time here and the date on the upper left hand corner. This is for 12 a.m. on Thursday. 38 in Violent, 39 in Hamilton, 38 in Galloway. Jacket and jeans weather, but nothing excessively cold, which you might think when you usually have strong winds. Well, look at the temperatures as we go into the morning hours in the 30s for the most part. And then we start to pull out into the 40s for the afternoon afternoon. So even though we have the wind, it's not extremely cold out here for Thanksgiving, especially compared to last Thanksgiving where wind chills were in the 20s and in some cases the teens here. For this evening on the mainland, windy and good amount of cloud cover around, especially later into the evening at the shore staying in the 50s. So it is mild. It's a mild night tonight. Temperatures about 10 degrees above average for this time of year. I know it's a big night to be out and about. Drive safely, but enjoy the warmer weather for this time of year. There was looking at Thanksgiving across the whole country wintry for a good portion of the plains and getting into the west for us dry air but we just have that windy weather to talk about thanksgiving football forecast we have our rivalry games going on mainland at eht 49 degrees as you can see everywhere here just around 50 degrees feeling like the 30s with the winds but overall not that uncomfortable it has been colder for some of those nighttime football games earlier this season then for thanksgiving itself stuff the wind and stuff with a good amount of afternoon sunshine here. A couple of spotty power outages and airport delays are in the realm of possibility. Mainland seven day forecast Friday and Saturday, just about the same from each other. Temperatures seasonable and we do have a good amount of sunshine. Sunday, not the same case here. Now we could actually start out with a wintry mix during the early morning before we turn into an all rain event. It's going to be raw out and dreary again here and we could see some coastal flooding. We go to Monday couple of mixed rain and snow showers. Notice the temperature at 44 degrees, so we're not expecting accumulation, but just something to keep in mind. At the shore, we have that coastal flooding, minor flood stage for Sunday. Then as we go into Monday, maybe get some snow. I think it's going to be mostly rain there. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, seasonable temperatures. Have a great Thanksgiving. We will have Thanksgiving forecasts for you. We don't sleep on Thanksgiving. We will have an update for you. You can follow me on social media, of course, for the latest, or you can go to our website at thepriceofac.com slash weather.